So, well, Deacons, thank you. I want to ask you this. It's about me personally. Um, as the pastor in this situation or the upcoming situation, what would you suggest me to do or think, Deacon Bill? Well, I think one thing is it's going to you have to have a lot, a lot of patience. But fortunately, you you do have patience, so you have you have to have to draw even more so on on the the patient aspect of your of your ca character because it's not going to happen overnight. Uh, there's going to be people who want to come back, and as we've spoken about, they're going to have hesitancy because the coronavirus is still going to be around uh, for a long time, but. Uh, I think being open and re receptive to the people, uh, expecting some hesitancy, perhaps some people you th would have thought, I think, I thought that person would have come running back and they're, they're not coming back. Uh, not hesitancy because they've lost their faith, but hesitancy because of the the overall situation, not just the pandemic, but being in I isolation for 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 a year almost. It's it's a tough situation for, for people. But I think offering them the opportunity, perhaps um, perhaps is going to take. <sighs> I thought about this earlier about. Yeah about having more social activities, but it's tough. we really can't begin with social activities yeah, that, because exactly. of that hesitancy. That would be the ideal thing. If we could say it's gone, everybody come back, we'll have you know, several dinners and everything else. But I think for, you, for your perspective, just realizing it's gonna be a slow process, uh, don't get that discouraged, um, and allow people to to make suggestions as how they feel uh, is there anything that they uh, would like to see that a little bit differently not with the mass obviously but with the way that we do things as as, as a parish um. thank you <laughs> deacon larry well i thought long and hard about this one and what i would recommend is look at the parishes that are vibrant and alive and there are those out there why is that what are they giving the parishioners that maybe we're not offering i think it's the first place to look for ideas you know as a pastor maybe call up some of these pastors you know and say you know i'd like to know what are you doing um, there was an article in the, on a website that I get on. It's a Catholic website, but it was actually hmm. by a reporter from the New York Times. Oh, okay. And she's not Catholic. And when I looked and I saw it was the New York Times, I almost fell off my <laughs> chair at my desk. And I'm not going to read the report because we don't have the time. But the title of the report was by a guy called John Harvitt II. And this was in December the 26th when he did this. And the title was The Source of Art and Beauty. And what it there, basically what they were saying was they had gone to several parishes in Paris. And what they saw there was the reverence, the spirituality of the people. And for wanting of a better way of putting it, they were celebrating the Tridentine Mass. Now the NCCB has done a survey and on this, a study, and I've discovered these are the parishes that are vibrant. These are the parishes that 20-year-olds and 25-year-olds are coming back to. And that is the draw. This is what they're saying. So, you know, that's a, 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 an idea for discussion, but it's what I noticed when I was looking at this question. Um, so that, that, that would be my recommendation to contact the, 
you know, I don't, you've got enough to do, you know, on your you daily. Know, this is very important. But very the point important. is, what do you do on Father that maybe we could be doing? And I think you might get a surprise with some of the answers. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I only have the one parish to go by, you know, to, to comment on. And so therefore, I don't know what they're doing. But I can tell you this, I've been down to Louisiana. My son lives down there, one of my boys. And we went to Mass. I went to the phone book to look up the closest church. There were three pages of phone books uh, in the phone book for Catholic churches and one of everybody else. So what are they doing down there? You know, and that, that was a kind of a surprise because generally, when you're that far south, you know, well, let me not get into the whole thing here, but just the point is what they're doing. Yeah. The music was fantastic. The service was so, the mass was so reverent. You could feel it. I sat there and I watched mom and dad, and I make emphasize mom and dad with the kids coming in, dressed up like they were 40 years ago when you went to church, went to Mass. Um, everybody was in their pew, believe it or not, five minutes before Mass started. Wow. <laughs> and again, it was an experience, it was at Christmas. Yeah. But it's, I've been there several times and I've noticed that that hasn't changed. So again, what are they doing? Yes. They do. They put an emphasis on the family. That's what, you know, we are trying to explore. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. But, but anyway, this is, you know, this chat, as we call it, is good for us, all the three, and good for the people. So we have started a very good thing. <laughs> um, and as we already, you know, have been doing, we will meet again, you know, as the clergy of the parish and discuss further as things are unfolding, you know, from the people and from God. And anyway, thank you. Today it has been a very good experience. Thank you, deacons, for your service and for your love for the parish. Thank you. Okay, shall we? Yeah. Let us pray together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift of this parish, for the gift of these two deacons, those who have been with me in pastorally leading and guiding this parish. I thank you for their dedication. I pray to you for their families. But as one clergy of this parish, now we pray to you for the welfare of the whole parish. Give us all healing. Give us all your power, especially the guidance and the strength of the Holy Spirit, that we may be always open to do your will and do our best for you, for the church, and for our parish. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.